My name is Michael Elliott. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and my business is Hammer and Nails. I'm seeking $200,000 in exchange for 20% equity in my company. Sharks, there are millions of guys like me who go to nail salons for manicures and pedicures, but we do so reluctantly. It's not the service that we hate so much, it's the environment. Nail salons weren't designed to appeal to men's sensibilities. Women are their desired customers, and us guys know that. We feel that the moment we walk in the door. So I created Hammer and Nails, the nail shop for guys. In my shop, guys feel right at home with low lighting in oversized leather chairs just like this, wearing high-end headphones, watching premium programming on their own personal 32-inch flat-screen TVs. Hammer and Nails is man cave nirvana. My goal is to grow hammer and nails across the U.S. and the world. With an investment from you, Sharks, I can reach my goal, and together, we can put the man in manicure. Robert, I'd love to have you come down. I would love to come down. Amazing oh, I wanted to do it. Chair. Oh, please. Kick him out. Oh, wow. See, there you go. This is very comfortable, There you Michael. go. That's clever. Thank you. How did you come up with this? Well, I was in desperate need of a pedicure. It was a, like a crime scene down there. <laughs> so I go to this nail salon. I'm sitting there. It's filled with women. And I just felt like a fish out of water. And that was my aha moment. What was surprising to me was how many of my well-groomed guy friends admitted that they had that never had so a manicure or pedicure before. It was something unmanly. Okay, give us some numbers. Do you have yeah, let's go to the business. Oh, absolutely. So I opened Hammer Nails seven months ago. So far, we've generated $150,000. We'll do another 100,000 in the next five months. So we'll do 250 our first year. That was great. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank what you. do you yeah. charge Thank you, for a uh, manicure pedicure? Prices range from $23 up to as high as $125. So, Michael, let the numbers talk. Let the numbers talk. Sure. 250000 the forecast for this year. How much money are you going to make? Well, I will say this. Uh-oh. I, oh, I'll, I didn't go into this particular business believing that in my first year, I'll be profitable. So you're going to break even? I will break even. In fact, last month, we did 25% more in revenue, and we did break even. Why won't you just keep it for yourself? Why would I not franchise the business? Yeah. There's much more money to be made franchising this business. No. We'll disagree on that because when you got it and you're ahead of the curve, get to the point where it is so profitable, the franchisees will pay whatever, as opposed to you're having to convince the franchisees you're putting the cart before the horse, and for those reasons, I'm out. OK. So. I think that the hammer and nails is really clever, but I have no idea if guys would go to that or not. I don't think that I could even judge whether or not this business would make me my money back. So for that reason, I'm out. I think it's a great idea. Thank you. I, I mean, I really do. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, why aren't there more of these salons out there for guys? But I really didn't like your answer to Mark, because the only good answer to the question that Mark asked you, which is, why don't you just do it on your own, is I don't have the capital. I put every penny together to open up one store, and I'm proving a concept, and that's why I have to franchise right. if I want to grow. I, I appreciate the manicure, but I'm out. Michael, you're about two and a half years from even getting anybody to sign for a franchise license. At some point, you have to tell me what the stabilized numbers are for a two to three year period. No matter how much you try and sell the vision, and you're very good at it, in the end, as we know in the Shark Tank, the numbers rule. They always dictate the truth. Your business doesn't make money. And I do not believe. So I'm out. OK. Thanks for considering. So I applaud you for what you're attempting to do in regards to bringing back style and teaching men some manners. I used to be a member of a place in New York called John Allen, a very yep. similar place. I like the concept. My challenge is this. I believe if you have a customer, you have to upsell the customer, especially if you're selling an experience like this. You go to someplace like a John Allen, 
They have fine suits, they have a, a bar. Also, that would be harder to duplicate for a franchise owner if they try to knock you off. I don't see all of that here. I'm out. Okay. I appreciate you guys listening. Good luck, Michael, considering. Yeah, good luck. Congrats right. on your good successes. Luck. Thank you. And thank you, thank you for what you've done for hip hop. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. You've come to the right place.